Will I see you again? Wait, are they Perhaps. together? Explain it to me again. So it's Bobber's show. But in the middle of it, the Mandalorian just hijacks it and steals the show. Kind of like Darth Maul in ours. He's only in it for ten minutes. Well, you need to know what happens to Grogu and Mando before the new season starts. When are we going to watch the sequels? I want to know what completely fresh, never-before-seen supervillain is behind the post-Empire naughty plan. Hey, Jabba the Mutt. I want half a pound of mince plus some offal. That's not me. That doesn't even look like me. I've got much more of a poodle perm going on. I can bring you in warm, or I can bring you in cold. So much better than your catchphrase. What's my catchphrase? Hello there. It's a classic. What's your bloody catchphrase? Train the boy. What's wrong with that? Train the boy. <laughs> Easy crowd. Or I can bring you in cold. <laughs> <laughs> All the technology in the galaxy. But nothing beats a good chump on the wrist. Old school. Such a lightsaber ripoff. You do me the honor of letting me pass. You all can help yourselves to whatever you think you deserve. I want an apology for making me work on Dogface New Year. What you're eating? Yeah. No, thank you. I'd put that on ice if I were you. Ah, the old platoonian on the rocks. Slap some bacter on that. What weapon caused such a wound? The heaviest, cruddest lightsaber in the galaxy. All this talk of the Empire and they lasted less than 30 years. I know, everyone goes on about the Empire like they're the Force's gift. They were a fluke. 30 years is a pretty good run for my old Empire. Your old empire if it is won by creed in battle that's just the elder one what's that harry potter thing i read the entire series in under two weeks oh well done anakin you managed to read books that were meant for children forged over a thousand years ago by the mandalore tar Vizsla. oh crap that's this guy's name isn't it no he was called whistler probably because he descended from a long line of champion whistlers both Mandalorian and Jedi. Oh, like grow biotic yogurt. Nah, he's just gonna become Jedi. Luke should train the boy. <laughs> As we rebuild. This is the way. This is the way. That's a crap catchphrase, though. It can also pierce Beskar armor. Its mere existence puts Mandalorians at risk. It's meant for armor, not weapons. Okay, I'll take some shin pads then. Have you ever heard of Bo-Katan Kreese? Bo-Katan Kreese? Oh, shit, Pants. What? It's her sister. Oh. I forgot. I mean, I meet so many bo -Katan. I'm assuming you won't want to watch this, then. I, it's fine. Sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. Bo-Katan Kreese was born of a mighty house. Yeah, it had four indoor toilets and two parlors. Wow. <laughs> they lost their way. That is not the way. In the night of a thousand tears. Ah, oh, we'll put that next to the sword of a thousand truths. And the morning of a thousand headaches. I told you to lay off the death sticks. Only those that walked the way. So your ex's sister brought about a curse that destroyed pretty much all the Mandalorians. And she never liked to talk about it. Mainly because it hadn't happened yet. Something for a foundling. For a specific foundling. Grogu. What are you going to forge for a toddler? Beskar baby Grogu. He's 50, remember? Probably something for a midlife crisis, like a Beskar electric guitar. Or like a voice modulator that makes you sound like an evil Mufasa. Shut up. What shall I forge for the foundling Grogu? Beskar paperclips. They're round. They're posh paperclips. There's got to be a safer place to trade. 
you are too weak to fight the dark saber. I thought it could cut through anything. Failed at the first hurdle. Maybe the dark saber belongs in someone else's hands. And now I will win it from you. Hmm. So there's only three of us left. Oh, and I want to kill you. Percentage-wise, that's worse than Order 66. Oh, I think we'll be the judge of that. It's percentages. You can't judge percentages. Oh, giving up your high ground. This is serious. Have you ever removed your helmet? Oh, now he's got to reveal he broke his Assassin's Creed. Huh? You want to play Assassin's Creed? What? No, he broke the creed with the helmet. All oh, right, speak up. My ears are full of ghost earwax. Leave apostate. Leave your... I said leave your prostate. That is quite an ask. Only be redeemed in the living waters beneath the mines of Mandalore. Take off your helmet. Have to go to some mines. Hmm, makes sense. Excuse me, sir. You're going to have to remove your weapon. Bloody bureaucracy. They did that to me when I... Got an easy jet flight to Corfu. Made me put my lightsaber in the hole. The lightsaber is the definition of carry-on. <laughs> and I was like, you know I draw most of my power not from this, but from the Force. I'm assuming they didn't let you put the Force in the overhead lockers. Yeah. They said that the Force wouldn't fit in that little... carry-on thing. It's trying to work out how long after Greedo getting shot this way. Well, it would depend who shot first. I'm not measuring it to the millisecond. Now that is a pod racer. Do you think in hindsight, hiding an eight-year-old with a well-documented history of joyriding in a Naboo starfighter was a responsible thing to do. I was a bit preoccupied with the fact a second lightsaber bar had just popped up from the bottom of that horn dude's lightsaber. You know, Obi-Wan, when you're under pressure, you make less than optimal decisions. Dated a Jawa for a while. They're quite furry. Very furry. I think when you're dating a Jawa, you've got to take a long, hard look at yourself. We were on Tatooine longer than I thought we'd be. Did you date a Jawa? Thanks, Wish that. Ikea came with one of those. Nightmare trying to put my bed together. Much more useful than just an Allen key. You know, I figured with your disposition, you'd want to forego the astromech. <laughs> He's gone from a razor crest to a people carrier. Well, that is pod racing. I'm glad I was betting against Sabuba in the Boonta Eve classic. Not a Mando in an N1. I could have taken him. <laughs> I'll be honest, I wasn't even confident you'd win. I just have a problem. I tried an intervention, but it's really hard to force an intervention on a force ghost. They just see it coming from a mile off. How can you be my new dad? You can't be everyone's dad. Run your beacon for me, N1. Your voice is... Mighty familiar. Does this galaxy only have like three police officers showing up thousands of light years away? The force is stretched to be one. Which force? I mean, but they're pulling people over for minor infractions. You want to go back to base and fill out reports all day? <laughs> yeah, we've got the entire galaxy to police before bedtime. Well, how was it? Wizard. <laughs> Bloody wizard. Stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Welcome back to the 90s. First, I gotta pay a visit to a little friend. Is that his way of saying he needs a shit? I think he means Grogu. Oh, yeah. More of the traitor. Now, I don't know what arrangements you have with the authorities in Mos Espa, and let's be honest, in Mos Eisley, anything goes. Can vouch for that. Now load that chest and go. Consider it a fine for trespassing. It's worth more than your town. It's worth more than 50 quid. Ah, oh, he's so bloody clumsy. It's only 50 quid's worth of spice. I got one pound 79 worth of paprika right here. Well, that must be the branded stuff. Ha, ah, they have our two with them. Ha ha ha. Uh -huh. 
Looks like you got yourself a droid infestation. Fetch the droid exterminator. Oh, this silent treatment. Been there. It's a real metaphor for the Jedi. Using the Force to sneakily get what they want. That's not the Jedi. It's the Sith. Whether it be a scrummy frog or control of the Galactic Senate. Whoa, Luke looks so much healthier. Yeah, he looks so much less pasty. Must have been sleeping better. So is Luke like a cousin of mine or something? He seems so familiar. All will become clear. Seems a bit cruel to scare the poodoo out of those frogs just to make a point. I'm not taking lessons in morality from you. <sighs> because of the younglings. No, because you always eat with your mouth open. What was that? All right, let's go for a walk. So he did all that just to show how much more powerful he was than Grogu. Yeah, but Billy Big Ball's that. He was small like you. But his heart was huge, and the force was strong in him. So impatient, Luke. Why don't you just go at the speed Grogiotic walks at? He once said to me, size matters not. A lot of men have used that one over the years. Hmm. Do you remember back home? Imagine a planet of Yoda's. Be a real wise planet. The top shelf jars would go forever unreached. They could use the force to get them. Or maybe if they're really that wise, they'll build shelves that are appropriate for their population. Oh yeah. Let me help you remember. What the heck is that? That's Order 66. No, the arrangement. Is he just swaddled in a blanket in the middle of the hall? Yeah, I think the dorms were oversubscribed around that time. So new younglings just had to sleep wherever. In the middle of a war zone? Jedi Temple wasn't getting so many donations towards the end. People saw through the lies of the Jedi. Welcome back. And he's just carried him around while he was having that forced night terror. Uh, that he made him have. The galaxy is a dangerous place, Grogu. I will teach you to protect yourself. Because no one's going to do it for you. Uh, is that aimed at me? I didn't expect to see you here. I'm an old friend of the family. Whose family? Your family. But why is that relevant? Because your family is Luke's family. The Jedi family. <sighs> yes, but... No. Your attachment to Grogu would be difficult to let go of. He was a Mandalorian foundling in my care. So I came to the lost and foundling. I want to give him this. Why? So he will remember you. No, more so if he ever needs to keep two or more bits of paper together, then he'll be able to. One hundred times over. Foundling. Perhaps he is a Padawan now. Can't be both. What about the champion whistler that she was on about? Oh, right. I accept that. Either way, this armor will protect him. Armor? Maybe they turn the paper clips into armor. If he sees you, it will only make things more difficult for him. And he's not exactly top of the class. Spends more time chasing frogs than attending to his studies. Let's see you jump. Really? I can see burnt legs Anakin has been training you. Well, you there? Bend down. Jump. And as you do, feel the force flow through you. But also engage your glutes. Can't rely on the force to do all the work. You're trying too hard. Don't try. Do. You know Yoda was taking the piss when he said that to you, Lord. 
that's in good use out of that backpack. Again, just feels like showing off. No, that isn't how it works. He's not the most patient of teachers. I had to be so ferreting patient with him. Even I don't condone just blasting a baby. Mm, so uncivilized. He's like one of those parents who train their kids to be footballers straight out of the womb. Looks like you underestimated someone. What? Already a better jumper than Anakin. I hate you. Whoa, whoa. I know he's annoying, but... Sometimes I wonder if his heart is in it. So much like your father. Huh? Come on, Anakin. The kid that's licking rocks. Seems like a lost cause to me. Will I see you again? Perhaps. Wait. Are they together? It's really hard to meet people in the galaxy these days. You want to park your starship? You got to do it out there in the flat. <laughs> Mos Pelgo has moved on. We've got parking attendants now. Is there a job in the galaxy of greater scum and villainy? He's new. Absolute jobs worth. Such a window. The Pike Syndicate has us outnumbered, and we need your help. The town wants no part of it. That's a city folk fight. The city folk and the people of Freetown form a symbion circle. You must see that. What affects one affects the other. Or are you chicken? See, that's what I like about you, Mando. That big smile of yours lets you get away with anything. Wait, was Cobb Vanth on Morak you know, when he took his helmet off? I think he's been sarcastic. There's no easy way. To ask for a favor. You scratch my back. And I'll scratch yours? No. Just this armor is really itchy. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Whatever Fett is paying you will match. He's paying me one big sloppy kiss on the forehead. Uh, I don't really want to match that. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. We just call him Red Eyes. I call him Nectarine Eyes. I'd be careful where I was sticking my nose if I were you. Okay, one, you don't really have a nose. And two? Nah, that was it. Is that friendly advice or a threat? That's the look of a man giving friendly advice. You should have never given up your armor. Looks like we've got ourselves a good old-fashioned shootout. Don't do anything stupid, parking attendant. Ah, no, a gut shot. A person we like and has commercial figurine value. Yeah, okay. He must be dead. We get it. Nothing wrong with a few metal fish people bringing in a packed lunch. But, but wait, you forgot your Captona. Pretty deadly packed lunch. The Mandalorian wanted you to have this. That is a kingly gift. I bet he never tells Grogu this, but that's worth more than the value of the space shire. But before he only wants it because it's sparkly. Is a lightsaber. <laughs> it belonged to my teacher, Master Yoda. Oh, <laughs> him. And now. I'm offering it to you. Excuse me, Luke. Is that what Yoda put in his will? When you decide to just spontaneously become one with the Force, I doubt you have time for a will. He had 900 years to write it. But you may choose only one. Oh, there's always a farrakin catch. If you choose the armor, you'll return to your friend, the Mandalorian. Using Yoda's lightsaber to bribe him. What a guilt trip. But if you choose the lightsaber... I will you think will you're really cool and funny, and will want to hang out with you a bunch. But you can choose whatever you want. Some nasty little heavy shirt, or this awesome laser... Lightsaber. You will be the first student in my academy, and I will train you to be a great Jedi. Provided you don't get slaughtered by Leia's kid. Who's Leia? Which do you choose?
Well, that's bloody poor editing. We were about to find out which one he chose, but they cut the shot before we could see. I just don't understand why there's so much Boba Fett in this season of The Mandalorian. Yeah. I think that's something we can all agree on.